welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little bit different it's going to be more of like a chit chat um because i have a few things that i want to say and i have a few things that i want to get your opinion on and i'm gonna need you to comment down below for me um so a lot of you guys know or a lot of you guys don't know some of you guys know that i have my own hair care line and been working on finishing it up so i have an edge control right now which is the lovely beast edge control that a lot of you guys are familiar with and then last year i released my deep conditioner which is the lovely beast oh honey moisture mask and i've been working on my leave-in since i want to say like march or april and i finally got some more samples in for me to try so today i'm going to be trying those out and i want to get your opinions on some things about that um, but I also have a few things that I want to address about my natural hair. Um, so yeah, I'm starting off with freshly co-washed hair. I use the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. This is one of my absolute favorites. Been using it for years. And of course, I deep conditioned with my Lovely Bees Oh Honey Moisture Mask. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. This is what my hair looks like. Freshly washed and deep conditioned right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to try out my new leave-ins. So originally this is A, so I always get my samples in because I work with the chemist, y'all. Like I'm not in there doing stuff in my kitchen while I am, but then I work with the chemist um, and they do the final products to make sure I have everything in it so that I'm not selling moldy stuff to you guys and stuff like that. Um, so originally this one I got in May, this was my leave-in. If you follow me on Instagram, then you guys see me try this out and I loved it, but I didn't love it enough to release it to you guys if that makes sense like I love the smell of it I love the way it felt and made my hair feel nice but it didn't have enough of the properties that I look for in a leave-in so I went back with my chemist and we redid it and I finally got two new samples so this was sample A um, and then this is sample B and sample C this is the same process that I went through with my leave-in not my leave-in oh my gosh this is my leave-in this is the same process that I went through with my edge control and um, that I had to go through with my deep conditioner we just kept doing different formulas until I found one that I was okay with and then I released it so I'm hoping that by August if I choose one of these two, because this one I'm not going to do, um, this is like a version of that one, but better hopefully. Um, this is my first time trying it, so I'm hoping by August that I'll be able to release it to you guys, and then you guys will be able to try it. That's why I need your help. So, again, starting off on clean hair, I'm going to do half and half, so I'm going to do side B on this side and side C on this side. So, I wanted to ask you guys, like, what do you look for? in a leave-in like when you get a leave-in what do you look for in it do you want it to be detangling where are my clips at y'all <laughs> i always do this hold on okay so what do you look for in a leave-in do you guys look for the leave-in to have slip because you want it to detangle really good do you want it to be super moisturizing do you care if it's heavy if it's light if it's liquid if it's more of a cream um so like what consistency do you look for uh, what smells do you guys look for so my edge control has lavender I'm gonna be talking and working at the same time because I will make this video so long y'all um, so yeah what scents are you guys looking for do you guys like fruity scents or do you like more earthy scents like um, like essential oils and stuff like that so my um, I have my spray bottle here too because I like to work on wet hair um, but yeah so my edge control has a lavender scent but it's really light it's not heavy at all um, because it's for edges and I just don't think edges need to smell like that if that makes sense. Um, well, let me just make sure I'm grabbing the right one. So yeah, oh my gosh, it smells so good. So my edge control has lavender scent. My deep conditioner is more of a tropical scent. So I was leaning towards more of like the tropical fruity scent for the rest of my uh, line. So right now this is like wild peaches and it smells so good. Um, but let me know if scent is a big thing for you guys. I don't really care for scents that much as long as it doesn't stink uh, because you know they typically fade away anyway. So yeah, this one right now is peach. So let me know down below um, what you guys look for in a deep conditioner because I can't just base this off of my hair and I always send my samples out to all of my friends and stuff like that because we all have different hair types. So I like to get a feel, sorry, I'm cleaning my dimming brush out. Um, I like to get a feel for it on different hairs, uh, hair, different textures and things like that. 
um so yeah let me know down below what you guys like and then i'll tell you my thoughts on both of these and hopefully you, you guys can help me choose so already with this one i'm comparing it to the a because i tried this one a lot um I, I like it more already if that makes sense like this one i can definitely feel the difference um it has a lot more slip than that one has um but it feels the same like it still feels moisturizing but it has a lot more slip like which is excellent for detangling. So I could definitely tell that already. I won't know if I really, really, really like it until it's completely dry. So I'll, of course I'll pop back in once my hair is dry um, and get you guys opinion on that. But yeah, right now, let me just, let me be quiet and focus on how this feels for a second. <laughs> Yeah, so already I really like the way this feels when it's coating my hair. Like I can literally feel it coating my hair and then it's like pulling it apart. Y'all, these are press-ons and this one is holding on for dear life. I need to glue them down. I use the little stickies and it is not <laughs> working right now. So yeah, I could definitely feel the slip on this. I up the scent level a little bit more on this too, so I can definitely still smell it. Um, my hair looks super moisturized right now. And it doesn't feel heavy, which I like in my leave-ins. I don't need my leave-ins to be super heavy. Okay, okay. I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling this one. Sorry, y'all. Um, so yeah, a few things that I wanted to say about my natural hair because you guys, not you guys, some of you guys probably seen that I did the wet look. Not the first one I did a year ago with the clip-ins, but the one I recently did maybe two months ago. Um, and for some reason, I always get the, do you have a perm? Do you have a texturizer? Do you have a relaxer? Is your hair damaged? Like... I get those questions so so much y'all and this is my hair like this is my hair I think I want to say that I have 3b 3c hair because when it dries that is my curl pattern that is what my curls look like once they are completely dry and that is the shape of my curls that's not the texture of my hair that's not the porosity of my hair that's not the density of my hair and I think a lot of people get that confused because a lot of people come on my page and say that they have 3B, 3C hair. And they be like, you don't have 3B, 3C hair because my hair don't look like that. And I have 3B, 3C hair. And I'm like, that's your curl type. Like, So I have low density, normal porosity, fine hair that curls in 3C, 3B, if that makes sense. Um, not everybody with 3C hair has the same porosity or the same texture or the same density or anything like that. That's why you can't go by hair typing when it comes to products, if that makes sense. Um, and for some reason, people like to yell at me and tell me that that's not my hair. And I'm like, it is my hair, y'all. Like, just because my hair looks like this when it's wet. Like my hair gets weighed down super, super easy. Like water clearly weighs my hair down. Um, so when I add product in it, it gets even more weighed down. And then once it dries, it starts to spiral up and you can see the curl pattern. Um, so I do not have a relaxer. I've never had a relaxer. I've never had a texturizer. I've never had a perm. Um, I have had hella heat damage and I, had, I have had damaged um, from color so in high school and in college I colored my hair pretty much every color under the sun I had yellow hair I had purple hair I had pink hair I had red hair um and I damaged it but I didn't care because I didn't care for my hair then I didn't like my hair um I just nobody in my family has hair like me well now my niece does but like nobody had hair like me so everybody always had their hair straight so i wanted my hair straight so 
once I learned how to use a pressing comb and a flat iron, I was in the game, okay? So I damaged my hair really, really bad up until college. Um, I would straighten my hair religiously even after college because then I started wearing weaves and then I started wearing clip-ins. So I would straighten my hair every Friday night religiously. Um, so I didn't even know what my curl type pattern texture, I didn't know any of that. I just knew that I wanted my hair straight. Um, so yeah, I have done that and I know what that, I know what that damage looks like. You guys, trust me, my hair did not do any of this. So no, I don't have a texturizer. No, I don't have a perm. No, none of that. I don't think anything is wrong with that. It's your hair. It's your choice. Um, but personally, I've never had it and I don't ever plan on getting it. Um, and I don't have one right now and I don't straighten my hair. So, okay. So I have side B done now and then I'm going to go ahead and work on this side. So yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I had hella heat damage and this is not heat damage y'all. This is my hair. I haven't straightened my hair and I don't know how long, um, so I straightened my hair twice this year. I know that, well, actually the first time was actually last year because it was on New Year's Eve. So that was December 31st. Uh, so yeah, I straightened my hair then when I cut my hair into the bob that it's kind of still in right now. It's just hella grown out, um, but it's still super even. So that's when I straightened my hair. I only had it straight for like three days. I didn't re-straight it or re-straight it or do anything like that because it just wouldn't stay straight. Um, and then I straightened it again when I used the better length curly, not curly clippings, the straight yakky texture clippings. Woo, I'm about to use B. No, y'all. Um, this is why I don't talk. I told y'all. I can't concentrate. Um, so yeah, I straightened it again. I don't remember when that was. Maybe March or April. Um, it smells the same. Um, when I straightened it again, when I did the yakky texture clipping video, I'll put that somewhere for you guys if you guys want to see that. Um, oh, this one feels nice too, but already this one feels heavier and it feels a little bit oily. Like it's, it feels a little thicker and it feels a little bit more oily, like how it pulled my hair completely straight. And this is what I mean when I say my hair goes straight with product and then it takes a minute for it to like curl up. That doesn't mean that my hair is damaged y'all. It does not mean that. I just have fine hair and my hair gets weighed down. Um, let me move this to the side. So yeah, that's when I straightened my hair and then that was it. Like <laughs> that was it. And not to say I don't have any damaged strands because I'm pretty sure I do, but I'm usually really good at cutting my own ends. Um, so yeah, I haven't cut them in a minute, but yeah, like I don't, I don't have like all of this heat damage that people think that I have and I don't have a perm, but I don't have a texturizer. Like I just, people just really be like mad. Like, you got a perm that ain't this that i'm just like no i don't like i promise you i really don't like this is my hair so it makes me feel so much better when a lot of you guys um dang this one feels nice too when a lot of you guys tell me that you're my hair twin because that makes me feel like i'm not crazy and i'm not alone in this um so yeah, I just wanted to address that really quick because for some reason people think that I'm lying and I'm not, y'all. I promise I'm not lying. This is my hair. I don't know what else to say. Um, but yeah, how's your day going, you guys? This is how mine is going. Oh my gosh, I like this one too, but this one definitely feels heavier and it feels more oily. Um, which may work really good for some people, especially people with a coarse, a coarser texture. Um, but I usually leave like my thicker, more oily products for creams. So that might really um, be really good for when I do my curl cream. I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing for a leave-in, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and finish this out. And then I'll come back and talk to you guys about which side I really like. I also have multiple textures in my head. So the middle of my hair is the curliest and then the front and back is the loosest. Um, 
and the texture is a little bit silkier and finer in the front and in the back than it is in the middle okay so as you guys can see it's finally starting to like ring up um and it's not as straight as it was when i first put the product in it so i'm gonna let this air dry and then i'll come back and show you guys what it looks like once it's fully dry so i can show you guys that i actually do have curls um and i don't just have these stringy weighed down strands if that makes sense um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let this air dry and then i'll be back to check in with you guys so we can finally decide which one of these products i like the most and i really want to hear from you guys um and yeah okay love so i am back and it's been a few hours and my hair is pretty much 100 percent dry but these are my final results this is side b right here nice and curly and bouncy super moisturized and super soft and then this is side c it's still super soft and looks moisturized but for some reason I like this side more like I think this is the conditioner that I'm going to choose because I don't know just the way it felt because they look pretty much similar now that they're both dry but the way the this one went on was like it was like butter like my hair literally melted um so this is what it looks like I'm going to go ahead and just fluff it out a bit uh because it's late and I'm just going to pin it up anyway um but yeah So I might as well show you guys um, how I pull my hair up. I just um, take one of these big scrunchies. This one has like the little grip on it. I got it from Target and it just that grip kind of just helps to hold it in place. Um, so I just pull it up like this and I just put my bonnet on top of it and then I go to sleep. 